ENV files. We've all had painful experiences with them at some point in time. Whether it's accidentally committing your secrets to Git, chasing them down across different environments, or just making sure that they get to the right people on your team, it gets messy pretty fast. But what if I told you that there is a better way? And that's where InPhysical comes into play. It's a single platform for secrets, certificates, and privileged access management just without any overhead. Instead of using ENV files or needing to maintain any SOPS configuration, you simply specify your secrets in InPhysical, define who should have access to those secrets, and fetch them back whenever you need them using tools like the InPhysical CLI. Before we dive into this example, you should know that there are three things that you'll usually need. An account within Physical with your secrets stored inside, the InPhysical CLI installed on your local machine, and an application that you'd like to use to run and inject your secrets into. For the purposes of this demo, I'll be using a sample Node.js application that I've created on my machine, but you could use any stack. So Ruby on Rails, Flask, Django, Laravel, you name it. Let's dive in. So here we have an express Node.js application setup that returns hello name depending on what name is passed in as an environment variable. So if there is such an environment variable defined under name, it'll use that. And if not, it'll default to world. So that's hello world. You can see that we have indeed created an env file and we do have two variables defined here, name equals Tony. So if we do flip back to the browser here, you'll see that it does currently return hello Tony. Now the thing is, we're actually going to scrap this env file because we're not gonna need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this file just like that. I'm gonna actually refresh the application to confirm that this variable is no longer being passed in and flip back to the browser. So now if I refresh, you'll see that it is now printing hello world. And so that's exactly what we expect here. So the next thing I'm going to do is access in physical in the browser, add back this environment variable and fetch it back into local development. And so let's go ahead and flip back to the browser. I already have a tab within physical here. I can go ahead and create a new secrets management project that's gonna store all my secrets and environment variables. And so I'm just gonna create a project called example. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And the first thing you'll notice here is that there's different environments. And so since we are operating in local development, in the development environment, I'm just gonna go ahead and explore this default environment that was created for me. And so here we are, I can now add a new secret. Um, the key of the secret is gonna be name and the value is going to be Tony like before. And so we can go ahead and create the secret. It's gonna ask me to save changes and add a commit message as well. Um, I'm just gonna call this maybe an initial commit. Uh, we can save the changes and here we now have the environment variable populated um, and stored in InPhysical. The next step is gonna be to fetch it back to our application in local development. And so the way to do that is gonna be to use the InPhysical CLI, which I already have pre-installed in my machine. So I'm just gonna flip back over to the terminal here and I'm gonna go ahead and first run in physical login. So this is gonna be an authentication step. It's gonna ask me to connect to an instance of InPhysical, be it a self-hosted instance, or in this case, InPhysical US. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. And I'm gonna perform and complete that authentication step. So there we go. Now back in the terminal, the next step is gonna to be to run this command in physical init. And what physical init does is it connects this local project that I have to that project that is in InPhysical that we created uh, called example. And so if I run in physical init, you'll see that it's gonna ask me which in physical project I'd like to connect to. So example, and that's it. So that's really the setup that's required. And now the last step is to start fetching back our secrets uh, into this local development process. And so if you remember before, uh, the start command used to be npm run dev to start this application up in development. What we're actually gonna do now is we're gonna wrap this command with another command provided by the InPhysical CLI. So if we type in physical run hyphen hyphen and then that same command and click enter here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go out there and it's gonna fetch back that secret that we have in InPhysical and it's going to start up our application and inject that secret into that process at runtime. 
And so now you can see that the server is listening on localhost 3000. We can flip back to it. And if we reload the page, you'll see that it is now showing Hello Tony as we want it to. And once again, while this example is with Express Node.js, this will work for pretty much any stack. So Flask, Django, Ruby on Rails, Laravel, you name it. And that's it. In just a few steps, we've went from using an ENV file to storing environment variables in and physical and fetching them back securely at runtime. No more file sharing, no more chasing down secrets across environments, and no more accidentally committing your secrets to Git. It's a simple way to keep your local development clean, consistent, and secure. So if you enjoyed this demo, I've gone ahead and attached some links to InPhysical and then Physical CLI to the description of this video. So if you're looking to improve your local development workflow, I'd highly recommend checking out InPhysical and giving it a spin in your local development workflow. Until next time.